Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Gula Tech Adventures YouTube channel. I'm V. Ron, and today we're diving into something really exciting, a brand new executive order that just came out from the White House. We're talking about Project Genesis, a massive initiative that could fundamentally change how America does science and AI research. Let me show you the intro video that explains what this is all about. Have access to Project Genesis summary. Project Genesis, a proposal to the Federation. Okay, wait a minute. That's not right. That was about the Genesis device, not the executive order. Let me pull up the correct video here. Okay, seriously, that was Phil Collins and Genesis the band. All right, let me get serious here and talk about the actual Project Genesis executive order that just came out. So on November 24th, 2025, the president issued an executive order called Launching the Genesis Mission. And this is a really big deal. This is being compared to the Manhattan Project in terms of ambition and uh, national importance. The goal? To fundamentally transform how America does scientific research by putting artificial intelligence and supercomputing at the absolute center of the scientific process. Now, the agency responsible for making this happen is the Department of Energy, the DOE. They're taking the lead on building what's called the American Science and Security Platform. And here's what makes this so powerful. The assets they're bringing to bear. The U.S. government is mobilizing its national laboratory supercomputers, some of the most powerful computing resources on the planet. We're talking about the kind of high-performance computing that can run massive simulations, train enormous AI models, and crunch data at scales that are just mind-boggling. But computing power alone isn't enough. What really makes Project Genesis special is the curated data sets. The federal government has been collecting scientific data for decades, massive troves of research data, experimental results, measurements, observations across every scientific domain you can imagine. And here's the key. This is, this is curated data. It's not just scraped from the internet. It's high quality, well-documented scientific data with proper metadata and provenance tracking. So what scientific areas are they targeting? The executive order specifically calls out several priority domains advanced manufacturing, biotechnology, critical materials, nuclear fission and fusion energy, quantum information science, and semiconductors and microelectronics. These are the areas where AI-driven research could deliver breakthrough discoveries that strengthen national security, economic competitiveness, and energy dominance. Now, here's where cybersecurity becomes absolutely critical to this whole initiative. Because you're dealing with massive amounts of sensitive scientific data, proprietary research, and potentially classified information, especially when it involves nuclear security and defense applications, you need rock-solid access control and cybersecurity. The executive order mandates standardized data use agreements, uniform cybersecurity controls, supply chain security standards, and, when necessary, classification controls. You can't just let anyone access this platform. You need rigorous vetting, authorization procedures, and continuous monitoring. And this brings me to something really important, uh, something I discussed recently in my interview with the AI episode about AI risks. One of the biggest problems with large language models today is what we call recursion. Uh, when AI training data gets contaminated by output from other AI models, think about it. If you're training an AI by scraping data from the internet, and that internet data now includes a bunch of content generated by other AIs, you're essentially training AI on AI output. It's like making a photocopy of a photocopy. The quality degrades with each generation. Project Genesis directly addresses this problem. By using curated, high-quality scientific data sets that have proper provenance and aren't contaminated with AI-generated content, they're avoiding that recursive training problem. This is exactly the kind of thoughtful approach to AI development that we need, focusing on data quality and curation, not just scale. Now, before we wrap up, I want to highlight one of our Gula Tech Adventures portfolio companies, Threader. Threader is a cybersecurity platform that provides real-time preemptive threat protection. Instead of waiting to detect threats after they hit your network, Threader blocks known malicious traffic before it even reaches your firewall or endpoints. It's a zero-trust approach at the network edge, exactly the kind of frontline defense that would be critical for protecting something like the Genesis mission platform. You can check them out at threader.com. Uh, if you found this helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I know it really helps us keep bringing you this kind of content. And remember, you can't have good AI without good cyber. See you next time.